Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Hope and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So in my last couple of videos, I've been focusing on high porosity as well as low porosity hair. Why? Because hair porosity is vital. Like, I mean, it's super, super important if you're trying to grow and maintain healthy, moisturized, natural hair. If you haven't seen my video where I detail everything you need to know about high porosity, normal porosity, and low porosity hair, make sure you check it out. I'll leave the link for the video in my description box. So in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on high porosity and of course, DIY treatments for high porosity hair. These DIY treatments are targeted treatments that will attempt to help your hair not only get moisture in, but to help seal it in so that your hair won't just be brittle and dry. These DIY treatments are going to be your holy grail treatments for dealing with dry, brittle, and just overall lackluster looking hair. <laughs> So the first treatments I'm going to go over are protein treatments, so let's jump right in. If you have high porosity hair, you'll want to always have these six ingredients on hand so you can do emergency DIY treatments whenever you need to. So let's begin with some DIY hair treatments using eggs so you can see just how beneficial they are for your high porosity hair. So for this egg mask, you'll just need one egg. You'll have to whisk it thoroughly, put a shower cap on and leave it in your hair for 20 minutes. Remember to rinse your hair with super cold water. Using warm water will cook the egg and you definitely don't want little white flecks left in your hair strands. High porosity hair has lots of holes throughout the hair shaft and this is why it benefits from protein treatments which patch up those holes for stronger, healthier hair. For a moisturizing and conditioning protein treatment, you can add extra virgin olive oil and plain yogurt and mix it with one egg. You can try doing protein treatments once a month or once a week depending upon what your hair needs. Once you've patched up the holes in your hair using protein treatments, your hair will be ready for lots of moisture. So a deep conditioner will be your next step. A banana, honey, and oil hair mask will add maximum hydration to your hair. You'll want to blend a super ripe banana so that you don't wind up with banana chunks all throughout your hair. Bananas have natural oils that will moisturize and soften your hair and fight against breakage. Raw honey will strengthen your hair follicles and is a natural humectant that not only attracts but holds in moisture. An extra virgin olive oil penetrates the hair shaft and is high in vitamin E which deeply conditions your hair. So I've shown you how to patch up the holes in your hair shaft using protein treatments and how to get maximum hydration and now it's time to seal up those cuticles so that you'll retain all of that great moisture. You can do a simple apple cider vinegar rinse or you can do a super conditioning aloe vera juice rinse. Both are easy to do and promote shine and softness. But most importantly, they help to close your cuticles. You should dilute your aloe vera juice with super cold water, shake it in a bottle to blend it, and drench your hair with it as a last step on wash day. As with anything else, just remember that balance is key. There is such thing as too much of a good thing. So just do everything in moderation as well as what works best for you. Maybe you don't need to do protein treatments every month. Maybe you need to do them every other month or maybe you need to do them weekly. Just see what works best for you and then take your hair care regimen from there. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribed. Also, if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified each and every single time I upload a video for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Bye.